Greetings and welcome to Let's Play My Neighborhood. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> I, well, it's kind of oldish news. I don't know if everyone got that, but uh, I just read an article about uh, the new XCOM game that's going to be a strategic game. Yes! I think Firaxis, Firaxis, they're doing a remake of the first XCOM, Enemy Unknown. And from what I've seen so far, it looks pretty interesting. At least it's not a um, cheap FPS clone of a beloved franchise, and we're actually playing a strategy game again. Anyways, uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also looking forward to the new Jacked Alliance remake game that should be out soon, February, something like that. I don't know. <clears throat> that kind of looks interesting. I'm not sure if I will get it immediately. I'm kind of busy with Skyrim at the moment, and I will talk about this soon. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys, girls, Hammer, Fortitas, whatever, a heads up about uh, what I'm going to watch, uh, what this game is about, and check it out. It looks really interesting. How about Skyrim? I was <laughs> recording this morning about one hour about Skyrim, and I didn't really make a, strip, a script or something, and that was kind of a huge mistake. Well, I still don't have a script, but I'm just going to give you guys a quick first impression of the game. It's fun. Kind of. Uh, I was starting out with an Argonian mage who should be kind of like a shaman. Chain armor, uh, one hand blunt weapons, shields... Restoration, mysticism, and destruction skills. Uh, well, I kind of, they kind of removed medium armor, <laughs> which was usually chains and stuff. Well, I think they are still in the light armor category. I don't know. I, it was kind of strange. I don't know that they removed so many, well, skills but I kind of like this perk thing where you can put points you every devil you gain one talent point and you can skill in different categories like one hand weapons you can skill that your blunt weapons stun the enemy or stuff like that that's kind of nice I can accept that kind of um, but then I forgot about the, or didn't really like the way you play a mage. Uh, I only played for nine hours so far, so uh, I haven't played that much. Then again, most games I beat in eight hours, nine hours, so... <laughs> like I said, this is a first impression video. Uh, so far it's okay. It is kind of more interesting than Oblivion, in my opinion. Uh, what I I tweeted about this and wrote a Facebook uh, note about this. We are living in the year 2012 and it still happens that monsters or NPCs in video games get stuck on obvious obstacles. Uh, there was a, two rooms, three entrances. The middle one was blocked by vines and I was fighting an enemy. The enemy was on my heels but I went through the left gateway and he kinda got stuck in the vines. He was trying to run towards me but the vines went away and I could well kill him with a bow. <laughs> um, or I'm walking with my companion <coughs> down the road and there's a boulder in the way and I jump over the boulder my companion tries to run over the boulder but fails and doesn't go left or right. Why? Fuck. It's the year 2012. I had a 
better sophisticated pathfinding AI in freaking Unreal. Which is what? 12 years old? Something like that? It's old. Really old. I don't know. I had better AI in my Quake 2 bots. And <clears throat> I don't know. There was another occurrence like an orc running after me with a two big two-handed axe. And I was like, uh, how do I play? explain this? Like a catwalk. And there was um, stairs leading down, and I was jumping over the, uh, this railing down. It wasn't that deep, and he just stood there and went all the way around. He was a bandit. He was in light armor. I'm pretty sure he was a little bit agile, so he could also jump over this. But no, he took the long way. Took three arrows in the head. I'm playing a Khajiit Rogue Archer now. It's a lot more fun <laughs> than the Mage, the Rogue Archer. But I don't understand why stuff like this still happens. Um, quick review or first impression about Skyrim. It is fun. I enjoy it. I still don't really care about the story. It's... I like the dungeons. I like exploring the dungeons. They put in a lot more traps. I still wish I could tell my companion, do not step on this pressure plate. This obvious pressure plate. Perhaps it is possible. I haven't figured out yet, but... <sighs> Anyways, since she cannot die until, unless I kill her, I don't really mind. <laughs> she can eat those traps all she wants. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, the game is enjoyable. If you liked Oblivion, then buy this game. If you didn't like Oblivion but liked Morrowind, then buy this game. If you didn't like Morrowind, then what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and yeah. So the game has its good sides, it has bad sides. Considering how long you can spend in this game actually doing something yeah I, but i can't really play it for more than one one and a half hours then it kind of gets on my nerves or something i i don't really enjoy this traveling stuff and i don't know why people insist on traveling is fun yeah it is fun but please make the world a little bit more condensed or put some stuff in there that i can actually find or what's important or interesting the funny thing is, the game is kind of broken with the smithing ability. You gain quite a lot of skill points through smithing, and you can really pump up your levels. And <laughs> uh, you kind of have to learn smithing, so you can create the best armor later on in the game. And <laughs> well, as far as I know, the best armor. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I think the dragon stuff is kind of nice. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, you create three, three daggers and you gain uh, two skill points. Ten skill points equals a level. <coughs> hmm. I don't know. Kind of silly. Of course, you don't gain your combat stuff, but it kind of levels with you. So if you kind of want to gain some talent points, I would suggest smithing. Um... What else? I went a little bit about... I didn't really rant about it, but there was a discussion. Well, not a discussion, more like a monologue. <laughs> Since I don't have someone to discuss this. About fanboyism, or my fanboyism of Warcraft, and my hatred for Star Wars. Somebody mentioned this in my last blog. It, it, no hard feelings. I didn't, I didn't get upset or something. I was just like... I wouldn't call myself a World of Warcraft fanboy because I kind of want an MMO to succeed so Blizzard kind of gets a kick in the nuts and actually create something new so far they are just rehashing old content and yeah that's not really interesting <laughs> I don't know Ooh, two new five level instances yeah the old ones you've played before a little bit different mob setup Woo! There you go. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Um, my problem <clears throat> with people nowadays is this whole, well, you are not allowed to compare Star Wars with my, uh, World of Warcraft like it is nowadays. You have to compare it with World of Warcraft seven years ago. No, because I cannot play the World of Warcraft of seven years ago anymore. I have to play the new one. The actual one, the modern one. <laughs> of course, nobody's expecting as much weight or as much content, but you can't say, well, World of Warcraft had lots of bugs when it was released. Yeah, I know, but they, they aren't anymore. And <laughs> I don't know, when World of Warcraft came out, it was, in my opinion, better than EverQuest, and that's why I played it. So every new game that's coming out, it should be better or have a more interesting gameplay feeling to it than World of Warcraft has now. And I am pretty bored with World of Warcraft, so it shouldn't be that hard. But somehow, pff, I tried Rift the last weekend, and mm, it, yeah, it felt like World of Warcraft. I wish they would kind of try something new, but... Uh, anyways. That's one of the main reasons why I'm kind of looking more forward in the indie title than the AAA games, because in indie titles you kind of have some innovation and stuff like that. Um, I don't mind if they, like, <laughs> since we have the picture here, I don't mind rehashing of really old games, like XCOM, for example, giving, making, remaking it, like, kind of like keeping the gameplay the same, but giving it a new look, a more improved look with a little bit more help or stuff you didn't really could do in the past, but can do now. And I'll, I think that's not a bad thing, like taking the classics and remaking them without modernizing them. That's, I think, the main thing you shouldn't do. That's why I hated the other XCOM they are producing. Don't remake XCOM and make it a generic generic FPS shooter. That's kind of my problem with the new Syndicate too. Don't remake Syndicate and make it a FPS shooter. Yes, okay, it may be awesome, it may be innovative, kind of, but then call it differently and don't write on the Syndicate franchise. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Yeah, that's kind of it. what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Just wanted to give my first impression of this game, give my first impression of Skyrim. No final judgment. So far, so far I'm enjoying it. That's the biggest thing. Uh, I watched Tor and BOE. I wouldn't call myself a fanboy of anything. <laughs> Perhaps Dungeon Master. That's why I'm kind of looking forward to Legend of Grimrock. That looks really interesting. Oh, and I actually... <laughs> I actually ordered books today. Yes! Books that haven't done anything to do with software engineering. Books with an actual story. It's the... The Song of Ice and Fire. The first four books and... I'm kind of looking forward to it. I got... People suggested this to me and I'm like, yeah, why not? Uh, I kind of want to do something else. I kind of can't get myself... There hasn't been any new games out the past few weeks, months, years. Uh, that really kept my interest like, for quite a long time. I think the last game where I was really engaged... <sighs> Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the few games that actually kept my interest for quite some time, a few years, a few months ago. Mm. Um, about Let's Playing, I am going to finish Mystic Quest, mm, should be pretty soon. My best friend isn't around at the weekend, he just told me that. And so I will have some quite some time to record a Let's Play. What I am going to do is after finishing a let's play taking a one week break in between uh 
Because I have the feeling if people kind of get a break, I can be like, yeah, here, uh, enjoy. Uh, watch this Let's Play to the end and don't get overwhelmed by new videos all the time and stuff like that. Uh, because, well, I took a, about a month's break and I have 180 views or something on my first Mystic Quest video. And I can't remember when I got so many views the last time. So, yeah. It's not about the views, not only. I don't want... But I kind of want... Since I do spend quite a lot of time doing these, I kind of want people to actually enjoy them. Otherwise, I wouldn't need to do them. I don't know. It's, but yeah, I'm doing a one-week break in between Let's Plays, unless I do a quickly, of course. Oh, here's one hour of Let's Play. See you next week, bitches. No. Um, that's kind of it. Yeah. You can uh, check out my Facebook. I put a nice anecdote there. <laughs> Gilbert found it funny. Um... Follow me on Twitter. I sometimes have some witty things to say. And yeah, that's kinda it. Pretty busy at the moment. So if you're sending me PMs or something and I'm not really responding, then pff, it's just that I don't really feel like chatting or PM messaging at the moment unless I know the people better. Lots of work to do. Hmm. Anyways, I. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see each other soon, so take care and goodbye.